completing all the raid guides and everything. Hello and welcome to the Emosium on Car Mod Gold this year. This week I have an hidden achievement for you and it's... Hello and welcome to Kadim Siam. I'll be your guide. On challenge mode, nearly everything has more HP as you can see, but bosses having more HP is not the actual thing that makes this fight hard to deal with. Let's start with the easiest thing that's different than normal mode. In challenge mode, falling off the platform is an instant death, so you have to be careful not to fall from that little space between platforms. I kinda managed to tumble down from that little creek even though I'm a huge nerd, so I warned you. Secondly, not CCing bosses is an instant wipe because as you know from the normal mode if you do not CC mini bosses your kiter and your group gets showered down with meteors. Here neither you nor your kiter absolutely won't survive because everything hurts more. So again fast CC is direly important even more than normal mode. About your kiter, as you know, when lava worms reach Kadim, Kadim gains damage stack, which makes your kiter's job harder. Now on CM, Kadim will gain more stacks with each leaked worm, so it will hurt even more. So your kiter has to play near perfect to be able to survive it. Now, about lamp. On CM, it's not possible to do lamp alone, so you should send two people just to make sure your lamp will be done fast and sound. <music> Lastly, about the group that's stacking on mini bosses, there will be a giant fireball bouncing around from one platform to another. This ball will down you just like the small ones you're used to from normal mode. To deal with this ball, you can dodge it just when it's about to hit the platform. Or to skip this mechanic, you can use two guardians that will give your group ages. Two guardians is just to make sure you will have an ages up when ball comes back, so it makes it safer. When Kadim comes to the middle of the platform, you know from the normal mode there will be greater magmas coming from each side. Nuke these magmas, because they will push and kick you around. Having stability here is insanely important, but just in case, don't let these mobs stay alive for long, because they will risk you pushing off the platform. So for Hydra, we used Aegis for just one ball hits us, but for the second mini boss, it becomes a little bit problematic, because second boss spawns at, which may down your Aegis, so you shouldn't trust Aegis on the second boss. Dodging will be safer here. This boss is challenging because your party will be divided into few groups for each phase of this fight. There will be your kiter, two people on the lamp, and then people will separate for pylons. And then on the last phase, there will be people going in the lamp, two other tank and a DPS staying on the platform, and then there are still kiter. All these groups will have to deal with mechanics divided. That's what makes this fight hard. So which makes coordination is the star of this fight. On the last phase, you need to face through the lamp fast, but your tanks on the main platform will be dealing with two Viverians and also a flame ball still bouncing around. The thing is, Viverians have this wing blow skill pushes you off the platform and also some CC skills. Which without the flame ball, it's actually possible to survive if your tanks do one or two mistakes. But with the ball around, your tanks will have to keep a dodge up at all times and will have to be much more careful. <music> in 
In my opinion, coordinating your group on the spots is a huge aspect of success because you have to know how your kiter is doing. If they're struggling, they might call for a resurrection. When you're damaging Kadim, you could call for a cleave for the edge. For mini bosses, you could call for ready CC. People might mix their markers for the pylons, so you could call for marker check before the pylon phase. For your lamp, you wouldn't wait for people to see the chat and you could call for lamp. On the last phase, your tanks could call for help. And all this coordination will carry this fight to success. So you should look for an organized group for this boss to do it on CM. So that's it for this boss for my voice guide. See rest of the fight to be familiar with the mechanics. Thank you for preferring my channel to learn this boss. I really appreciate it. You can subscribe to support me and also get notified for the upcoming guides. See you on the next video.